Hello guys and welcome. Today I want to show you my free NAS server. I built previously. Um, no, I built it in 2015 in summer. And today I want to show you uh, how it looks inside, what's inside of it, and I want to put two new two terabytes. HDDs inside. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, open up this case uh, so you can see what's inside of it. And yeah. Okay, so I've opened up the server cabinet, or not the cabinet, just the server. So that's the inside of the server. You can see it is. Uh, very short and there's nothing special inside it's going out of the light zoom in um, there's a i3 to a uh, course something about 3.2 gigahertz and, and with the normal inter stock cooler that's more than enough then we've got an be quiet pure power 500 watt PSU, um, a gigabit motherboard, it's the GAH77M DA3H, and yeah, that's basically it. I've got two 4 terabyte discs inside, one in weight one, and now both of the two terabytes come in. And they are also running in weight 2. So, yeah. That's all I'm gonna put in till now. In front, I've got one hot swappable HDD thingy, but uh, there's no plate inside. I plan on getting other types of it, really cheap off eBay. And, uh, Put in some of uh, maybe the two two terabyte ones, um, or maybe get one where five can go in, so all of these can go in here, and maybe put um, a fan back here or something that these plates are cooled. Sometimes they have also the cooling fans installed already. Okay, so. On the other side, you can see my broken, yep, my broken, uh, zoom, zoom, okay, my broken 16 gigabyte Toshiba 3.0 USB stick. On here, there's my FreeNAS, and I have it connected to one of the USB 2. Uh, one of the USB 2 sockets and I don't need USB 3 for it. It doesn't need to be uh, that super quick because I'm not going to use it so much the server just as a local file server. So yeah, that's more than enough. Um, here I don't have a special weight card. I just use the onboard SATA plugs. So this one over there and yeah that's mainly it oh yeah and I also have 16 gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM so yeah 16 gigabytes quite good for a free NAS server so yeah and yeah that's uh, it for the server so I'm just going to put in the HDDs Okay, so I've put in the two drives. It's now in the configuration of the four terabyte drive, the two, four, two. So yeah, I thought of putting both of the two here and here, but then I thought no, I just put it here, so it's more easy to put another one in here. Um, and the thing is that I just put all of them inside of this cage and not in the other one, which is empty. It's because here is a fan behind a, a dust filter 
and uh, which is uh, controlled with this device here and the thermometer in here yeah uh, which I put between the drives so they uh, read the heat between the drives so they turn on or the fan turns on when the uh, air between them is too hot but the problem is that I face now I've put the screws to fix the two two terabytes um, there were screws uh, with this case when I ordered it and these screws are away they are at the uh, place of my mom because I needed my little box with cables, screws and the stuff there and uh, I leave, uh, yeah, I leave it there so I can't uh, yeah I, all what I can do is I get the screws, some screws of, of the 4 terabyte ones and put them on the 2 terabytes so um, yeah these are secured and I can put them back inside of the server so uh, then silent I can configure them and yeah that's probably then what I am now going to do so yeah see you uh, in a minute okay so the plates are in um, they are all connected up my KO management is shit and uh, I'm just going to close up the server with its uh, its lid and I'm going to leave out this because I will expand in future and uh, one HD will go here so um, I will save me some uh, some going in here and screwing out all of those screws which would be down there because of that shit and just have this cage out so I'm just going to put it in with the screws inside of a uh, plastic bag and then I'm good to go okay so the server's in place it's here there's a small monitor so I can read what it says there's a the circuit breaker it's not finished this is the new one we're going to use and there's a small cabinet with the patch panel inside and a and a small LAN hub or switch two small finished NAS systems I can real quick show you that was my keyboard that was not good so um, yeah it's an Western Digital My Cloud. It's mirror. It has two plates inside, and there's a, a track store. Extremer Home Server E Trace, and yeah, this is a TP Link. Uh, just try to see what it says. TLSG one thousand twenty four, and. That is a SumFi thing, so we can control our uh, blinds with our phone over the internet. And yeah, that's mainly it. Up here, that's just the our router, the the fridge box, and our telephone, home telephone. So yeah, the server's connected up. So just going to turn it on put the keyboard back here and now there is something I need to go in the boot menu and select oh yeah you can see all four uh, all four of those drives are connected so booting from the stick Freenas default normal boot and yes it's starting so I'm just going to turn off this monitor put on the keyboard 
and yes, that's it. So, see you in a second. <laughs>